This is a brief video of the uh, paint network. I wanted to uh, show uh, some individuals this. Essentially, uh, one records the EEG using NeuroGuide. Uh, there are a variety of different um, potential hardware selections uh, from many different amplifiers. In this case, it's a playback, <clears throat> and you can see the <clears throat> excuse me the EEG traces coming across the screen of this sample of EEG. Then one simply collect, clicks collection uh, brain surfer. And this brings up a three-dimensional brain. Uh, I'm going to select uh, these networks. One, one can do this in a lot of different ways, but the, what we're interested in here is the pain network. So I'll just take a quick look at the pain network and click apply. And one now can see the pain network here. Um, and if you want, you can press your right mouse button and see the different Robin areas. This is Robin area 32 left. Uh, this is Here's Bravin area for right, and um, this is a normal subject right now. That's the network is green because the patient is not in pain. The patients that are in pain will have dysregulation in various nodes of this network. One can expand this network or this display, and uh, also zoom in and go into specific areas and uh, use uh, brain-computer interface uh, interaction with the pain network to uh, reinforce greater stability and less chaos in the nodes and the connections of the network. One can also make the brain uh, transparent. For example, I will make it 100% uh, transparent. And now you have just the brain network by itself, or the pain network. And, and you can evaluate different aspects of it if you wish. You can then make it uh, uh, less transparent and bring the brain back and zoom out and rotate and uh, evaluate the brain network and actually travel into the brain. In this case, I'm going to go from the back of the brain and travel in uh, to the brain and to the pain network and then work with one of these modules. This is problem area 5 of the pain matrix. I'm going to zoom back out. And um, now we can change the threshold. In this case, the threshold is quite low. It's at uh, 1.5 standard deviations. Uh, and it's, that is why this is in the normal range. I can bring this down to 0.1 standard deviations to force um, it to be in this, make this one standard deviation. We'll click apply. And now it's, and I'm going to also make this red. Now here the goal is, <clears throat> this is though the pain, the pain matrix is extremely active. And uh, I'm going to zoom out. And now the goal is, is to make this pain uh, matrix, um, white, or in other cases, green. You have a choice as to what the uh, threshold is of the color, both the threshold and what the patient needs to do to train their brain in the pain network area to be more stable. Uh, this includes the uh, parasylvian gyrus of the parietal lobes, the uh, insula, particularly the right side, and then also the anterior cingular gyrus. These important nodes of the pain matrix become <clears throat> dysregulated in pain patients, particularly chronic pain patients, and the goal is to reinforce greater stability. So that's the quick video of the pain network. You can also see here's the addiction network. I might as well show that. <clears throat> that's used in addiction clinics. Here's the anxiety network. So you can see that. Uh, that's used uh, very commonly uh, to deal with uh, individuals with anxiety and obsessive compulsive disorders. Here's the dorsal attention network. And then um, here's the default network um, over here. Click apply. And um, so there's a variety of different networks in here, including uh, schizophrenia, pleasure, salience, mirror neuron network. This is good for autistic children.
Um, and again, uh, and one could select particular broadband areas and uh, not have to work with entire networks. You can work with parts of networks. Often Brain Surfer works better if you work with just parts. Here's Hagman Hubs, diffusion tensor imaging from, uh, from Schotten and Katani's um, uh, Atlas on diffusion tensor imaging, the uh, independent components analysis, and, uh, and Masulam's uh, uh, networks, as well as other networks available uh, with uh, this particular program that's being used by a lot of clinicians at this time. So I'm going to turn it off now so you can, uh, we'll comment on and discuss this in the future.